today I'm here with a new video and today I wanted to talk about something that I normally don't talk about and I want to talk a little bit about base products. I just usually don't talk about base products but now I have five base products that I'm going to show you that I currently love so much. I haven't used all of these for a long time but the times that I've used them I'm like it has revolutionary, revolutionary, revolution. It has made my base. I love my base, and I love doing my base right now. And that has like never happened. I have always like just slept it on. But right now, if I'm going to be honest, I think my base looks amazing. And I'm talking about primer and foundation and concealer and powder. And I'm going to show you five things. So it's two primers, one powder, one concealer and one foundation. And these I have used now, I think it's the sixth time I used them today. And I just, I love them. So we can start with the primers. One is, okay, I can start with this one. This, uh, when I was at Jessica's and when Marlin and Linda and Angelica was there as well, Marlin had a primer that I really, really, really wanted to try, but I didn't thought it was available in Sweden, but it was, and it is. And it's the e.l.f. Poreless Party Primer. And this has been so popular. But Sweden and Elf isn't the best. I bought this at Bangerhead, Bangerhead if you live in Sweden and want to try it. And it looks like this. It's like a thick cream or like a butter. It melts a little bit when you put your finger in it. But this is amazing. I have it on my nose and on my shin because that's where I have... My largest pores in my face and it's it's smooth and it's out and it is so so good I haven't tried to have it on my whole face and I don't think I will because I have another primer that I love to have all over my face but this one it's so so good and I really really like it it is pretty pricey for being elf or I am in that mood like I always think of elf as a drugstore brand but this is a little bit more expensive but it is really so so good the other primer is from NYX and it's their new primer high glass primer and I have in the shade moonbeam I think this is the lightest one I think they have three colors and I really like this I have it all over my face where I don't have the elf primer and this gives such a nice glow and it feels really really nice on the skin it doesn't feel drying and it doesn't feel like too moist uh, it's just it's perfect and it gives such a nice glow I can really like only use this if I want to have a really glowy skin I like it so 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 much and the foundation then is a foundation that is together with this and it's the born to glow I think these are together because I think they released them kind of at the same time I have tried this in a get red with me I think and then I didn't like it because I thought it was like too matte and yeah but together these two are amazing it shines through a little bit from this and this one I think I used too much when I tried it the first time I used a small small amount and I really love this foundation it looks so good on my skin I don't know though if it is a little bit too dark uh, I think it's not it's workable I don't think that you can see that it looks off but it feels like it's tiny tiny bit too dark but I think I can manage it and this is in the color pale and NYX are usually really good at really light foundations and I think they are pretty good at darker foundations as well because they usually have a big range, I think. I only can talk for myself, but 
they usually have a lot of colors and these two together for my dry skin amazing almost like a new holy grail it covers what needs to be covered but I still feel that my skin it doesn't look cakey and uh, that one I hate so these two together is amazing and then a concealer I have been in the hunt for a concealer for a long time after my all-time favorite concealer got discontinued in my color this concealer is not vegan and I am trying somewhat to use more vegan products but this is not but I like this so so much it's from Glossier 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 and it's their stretch concealer and I this is so it light covers and it gives such an amazing like glow to the skin it looks a little bit wet it's so easy to work with and I just love this I don't like that it's in this little jar but I love this concealer I just wished it was vegan I can really 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 recommend this if you want a very thin concealer that looks really like skin and I just love it so much uh, this is so 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 good so good I want this has like everything I want concealer except for another packaging but it's everything I want and it's not it just look so good I don't know what more to say it's just look amazing and I have in the color G12 I think it's the lightest one and it's so it's so damn good and the last thing that is the powder and I have always thought that I like loose powder more than pressed powder because I always felt like a pressed powder is it dries out my skin or it doesn't feel as good on my skin because I have dry skin but this powder I love it it is from Nabla and it's their close-up smoothing pressed powder and I got in color light and I have this on today and it doesn't even look like I have powder on it looks like this and it's got a little mirror and it makes my skin look so smooth and it doesn't look dry and I love this powder this I think I'm going to continue to buy this over and over again this is by far the best powder I have ever tried I love it and it sets the foundation and it just looks so so good maybe all smoothing powder looks like this is I think this is the first smoothing powder I have ever tried but I love this powder so so much the only thing is this container it's so slippery and I am so afraid to drop this and break it but other than that I love this I love it so so much and yeah that was the five products I was going to talk about I think I'm going to mention these in my March favorites as well but I wanted to do a dedicated video to these five products and I don't know if you like when I talk about base products I as I said I usually don't like to do my base but now I really do because I love all of these products and it feels like finally I have found something that makes it fun to do my base <laughs> I hope you get what I mean but yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will leave all the products down in the description and all the colors I think I mentioned all the colors but yeah I really hope you like this video and I hope I will see you in the next one bye